let's take a look at what this problem is asking. Now we've seen in chapter 28 that the quantum world has different rules in the world that we're, so, we're familiar with. And one of them is this, that all particles have a wave nature. And if I have a particle moving at a particular speed, it's got a certain wavelength associated with it that we call the de Broglie wavelength. And the relationship for the de Broglie wavelength is this, is Planck's constant divided by the mass of the object times the speed at which it moves. Now we've seen this is kind of a big deal for subatomic particles like electrons. But how about for something that's a bit bigger, something that's still microscopic, a red blood cell? Would the wave nature make a difference? Would it be detectable for something that size? I'm going to start with an assessment. And my assessment is no. I do not expect this to make a difference. Because I've seen little movies of red blood cells moving through capillaries at kind of a modest speed, and they don't look smeared out. They don't look wavish. They look distinctly like little corpuscles. So my assessment is I expect the number that we get for the wavelength to be rather small and not to be of substance. Let's go ahead and solve. We know the relationship we need to solve for, and actually we have all the numbers. The only thing we have to do is worry about units. The wavelength is equal to Planck's constant, which is 6.63 times 10 to negative 34th joules times seconds, divided by the product of the mass times the speed. Well, the mass is 1.00 times 10 to negative 11th grams, but we don't want our mass in grams. We want it in kilograms. So we want 1.00 times 10 to negative 14th kilograms. That's the mass. The speed is 0.4 centimeters per second, but a centimeter is only one hundredth of a meter. So I'm going to divide by 100 to give my speed in meters per second, 0 0.00400 meters per second. That's my speed. With those numbers in place, I calculate the size of the wavelength to be 1.66 times 10 to negative 17th meters. Now that's quite small, okay? That's smaller than the size of a nucleus. And so definitely we do not expect this number to be noticeable at all. That's what we said at the start. We didn't expect the wave nature of red blood cells to be a big deal when they're moving through a capillary. That's in fact what we found, and so our net result is the, this calculation matches our understanding of how the world works.